Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So today we got the May installment of Hot Wheels and Diecast Investing Portfolio and the additions this month are these two Super Mario Brothers exclusive Hot Wheels. First is the plumber van from the Retro Entertainment series, the actual plumber van from the movie, and then you got the Super Mario Brothers Mario Kart with Mario figure from the Mario Kart series of Hot Wheels. And today I'm going to talk about why I'm adding these into the portfolio, why I'm excited about them, and you guys can let me know what you think. So first and foremost, Mario is just a pop icon. I mean, when you think about the three M's of pop culture, you got Michael Jordan, Mickey Mouse, and Mario. I mean, ever since the 80s and 90s, I think everybody can attest to playing Mario at some point in their childhood life. Whether it was on the old school Nintendo or Super Nintendo or all the way up to N64 and Nintendo Switch nowadays, I mean Mario has basically carried us through the gaming console generations. And in that time there's been cartoons, TV shows, multiple movies, and most recently there was the animated Super Mario Brothers movie that just released here in 2023 and with that came a plethora of merchandise from Hawa specifically they chose to highlight again the standard Mario card this time with the Mario figure and I said it before when I actually got this car from my local Hot Wheels and Diecast swap meet that I did not pick this up from the retail stores so Walmart specifically but this isn't with your premium car culture or pop culture Hot Wheels sets. It's actually within that official Mario Kart lineup that Hot Wheels also produces. So kind of unique on how to get this car, but it is licensed with that movie logo for the year. And it's definitely a cool piece. I mean, it has different wheels than the standard kart does from either the Hot Wheel lineup or that official Mario Kart series that Hot Wheels puts out. They're a lot more meaty and beefy. And I almost feel like the Mario figure on the car is a little bit more premium as well too. So retail price on these are currently around that three to four dollar price point. Again, I had mentioned that I picked this up at the show for six dollars. So that's six dollars invested into the portfolio for the month. But I personally feel like given this car is what it is, Mario license, it's representative and based off of the movie i feel like this will definitely have value to grow moving forward specifically for this year 2023 currently right now secondary market this is sitting in that 10 to 15 dollar price point and i feel like as the year goes on it should definitely see some more uptick and then the other movie exclusive casting that Hot Wheels put out for the Super Mario Brothers movie for the year is this Super Mario Brothers plumbing van, which is pretty cool. And if you close your eyes and think about what kind of car the Mario Brothers would ever drive in, I mean, this is pretty much it to a T. I mean, very cartoonish. It suits them very well. Very oblong, very tall and narrow car. And that's a perfect way to describe these wheels as well, too. I mean, just look at that width. I mean, they're super tiny, almost like bike tires there, but then it's got the ladder up top and extra piping and all the extra utilities that a plumber would need. So this is just a perfect character car for the Mario Brothers. And this is part of the pop culture retro entertainment series for Hot Wheels. So a definite welcome addition, metal base, metal body, real riders, very skinny ones at that, but still, I mean, this might even be a first or possibly even a one-off when it comes to these skinny real riders that this casting does have. And as far as how much I paid for this, so I picked this up retail, so about $6 total, similar to what I paid for with the standard cart. And secondary market right now on this car is about the same as the standard car as well too so right around that 10 to 15 dollar price point i know this was a lot more a couple of weeks ago when it originally released it was sitting in that 20 to 25 dollar price point right around the time frame that the movie actually released but it has since come down and i've noticed this hanging on the pegs a lot more often than it was a couple weeks prior to 
So from an investment side of things, I am in $12 in for the month. That's $2 over my $10 threshold. I know a little bit over, but to be fair, last month I was a little bit under as well too. So I think for the year, my investment, what I put in as a total will net out to still be around that $120 mark. But from a secondary market standpoint, you can say that these two cars right now are sitting at about $25, which is about 150% gains right out the box, which is actually pretty good from a Hot Wheels investing standpoint. And on top of that, it's Super Mario Brothers. How could you not like Super Mario Brothers? And these cars, as I stated, when they first released, they were very hot, but now they are starting to set on the pegs. They are just normal releases. I get it. They are Super Mario Brothers referenced, but they're no, by no means a chase piece, so you should have an adequate chance to find these at your Walmarts and your Targets. And I really like the idea of adding some pop culture reference character cars into the investing portfolio just to add a little bit of diversity. But let's just take a look at some of these pop culture cars that have come out in the past and just see how they've done. And the first one that I could think of back in 2018 or 2019 was the Toy Story Disney referenced Pizza Planet truck with the yo on the back. And again, I think that is to reference Toyota, but with the additional letters scratched off the car. I mean, this car was just a classic within the movie, just bouncing around with the pizza and going to Pizza Planet where that's where we meet all the little cool aliens and the claw machine. But right now, secondary market, this is sitting at about 20 to $25, which is pretty interesting because it's actually been released a couple of times, but a cool truck nonetheless, and I can see the fascination with it. And then you got the Porsche 911 Turbo, the 930 Cyberpunk that just released last year. So this is kind of a cartoon slash video game reference. Very similar to Mario as well too. But this right now is sitting on the secondary market for about $10 to $15. And you could honestly say too that that value that we put on this car within the hobby, it's probably more based on the fact that it is a 911 Turbo Porsche which is definitely a cast that a lot of folks collect, especially with that classic wild tail that Porsche always gives us. But nonetheless, a video game reference and still holding value even a year later. And then how could you forget the very sought after pop culture Super Mario Brothers six car set that came out in 2016, which for the most part consisted of fantasy cast. So you got Super Mario Brothers 3 and the school busted you got super mario brothers 2 in the cool one super mario brothers dairy delivery dr mario in the eight crate delivery super mario kart in the aok -okay. and probably the cherry on top super mario world the volkswagen t1 panel bus i mean these cars are classic this whole entire set is pretty much on every collector's list from a retro nostalgic standpoint you could almost even call it vintage because a lot of these games are really old from the early 90s this set right now the full entire six car set is selling for around 100 to 150 dollars i know right now there is still one currently being bidded on it's already up to a hundred dollars I mean, this Volkswagen T1 panel bus is at about $50 on its own already, which gives me a lot of hope for these two new additions to the Super Mario Brothers diecast lineup. And super thrilled to add these to the Hot Wheels and diecast investing portfolio. If anything at all, just to add a little bit of diversity, kind of get away from the norm of store exclusives and targeting just JDM or whatever the hottest cast should be at the moment, like the Godzilla R32 or premium car cultures. I mean, the fan base is definitely there and we've seen it with past releases for video games and cartoons where these specific movie cars do well from investment side of things. So this is my take for the month. Let me know what your thoughts are on these two releases here. And also, what do you guys think about the Super Mario lineup in general across all releases from Hot Wheels? 
like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time on die cash cars